What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and it is Thursday which means that there is a brand new Rising Stars item that was added to the game. This week it is New Orleans Saints strong safety Kenny Vaccaro, a second year player who has been very very good over the course of his young career getting interceptions, making big hits, everything like that. He has been a big time playmaker for the Saints helped them really shape their entire team last year. Now, unfortunately, the New Orleans defense hasn't been anywhere near as good this year as they were last year, but uh, they've still been okay for the most part. And I think Kenny Vaccaro is the kind of player that will definitely be a leader for them going forward. So it does make sense that he is a rising star in tonight's game. But the one thing is, I was a little bit disappointed in the fact that they decided to go with Kenny Vaccaro over my boy Kelvin Benjamin for the Carolina Panthers, who is also, of course, playing in tonight's game. Ah, Kelvin Benjamin, absolutely monstrous rookie season. It seems like he's scoring a touchdown like every single week almost at this point. Dude's just been an absolute beast for the Carolina Panthers. Definitely Cam Newton's best receiver that he has this season. But he didn't end up getting the, the Rising Stars item. However, there is reason to be a little bit excited if you're a Carolina Panthers fan or if you're a fan of Kelvin Benjamin. And the reason that I'm excited is because of a tweet that came from one of the EA Madden Ultimate Team producers, and that is Billy Shouts. And he said, don't worry, we have bigger plans for Kelvin Benjamin. And that was in response to somebody that was a little bit disappointed in the fact that Kelvin Benjamin wasn't the rising star. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what that exactly means. Are they going to be putting out like a rookie set or something like that over the next couple of weeks here? Or is Kelvin Benjamin going to get some sort of other card of some sort? I have no idea what they're going to end up doing. But it does sound like they have something in mind for him. So that'll be pretty cool. He is a six foot five wide receiver. So he is an absolute giant, a red zone target to say the absolute least. But I'm pretty excited to see what they do with him. Anyway, though, I did want to quick take a look at the Kenny Vaccaro and take a look at his attributes because I think that, of course, that is the most important thing that we care about here. Most of these items do actually drop off in price. Uh, so, you know, what you see on the auction block right now isn't exactly what he's going to be going for at the end of the week. But anyway, Kenny Vaccaro, obviously you have the gold items, but we're looking at here... Uh, the elite item and that is when you add the two rising star gold items into uh, together you actually get an elite item so there's a bunch of sets obviously if you've done any of the other rising stars if you haven't just go in and look at your sets and it'll be across the top under rising stars it'll be the first one that you can see and basically any of the two of them uh, can be combined to get a rising star of Kenny Vaccaro this week. So the elite version, let's take a look at his attributes. And just like we always do with these items, guys, if you see yellow on the screen, that means it's an average or, you know, just an okay attribute. If it's green, that means it's very good. And if it's red, that means it's not very good. So as you guys can see here, a lot of green, a lot of yellow, and only one red for Kenny Vaccaro, which is a great sign that this isn't great all around strong safety. So that's something that I'm pretty excited about. 89 speed here, 94 acceleration, 73 and 74 for awareness and play recognition. Not great in awareness and play recognition. Uh, obviously, he's a young player, so a lot of times those attributes come later as the game kind of acts like, you know, it tries to make up for the fact that they're slower, basically, and gives them better awareness. But uh, 89 awareness and 94 acceleration is going to make him pretty good speed. His catching only being a 69 means that he's not going to be a great ball hawk, but he does okay. He's not going to drop a ton of passes, but he's also not going to be out there getting interceptions like he's Ed Reed in his prime or something like that. 94 hit power is something that I am very impressed by. There are not many safeties that have higher than that. But the things that I think are most impressive about this Kenny Vaccaro item are his coverage attributes. 85 for man coverage, 88 for zone coverage, and 84 for press. Those are all awesome attributes. Now, obviously, you're not going to send your strong safety to be in single coverage against many receivers or even tight ends in man-to-man -man coverage very often. Most of the time, your safeties are playing deep zones. Pretty much, for the most part, whatever defense that you're running, they tend to be, you know, as you can imagine by the title of the position, they're your safety valve. They're, they're the guy that is going to be deep 
to make sure that you don't get beat for a 60-yard touchdown. And that's what Kenny Vaccaro does a great job at. But his man coverage, if you are to put him into a single coverage situation, he's going to be able to do a very good job. He's better than a lot of cornerbacks in man coverage, which is an awesome attribute. 88 for zone coverage. Now, you see the star next to that item, and you see the star next to block shed, and also next to awareness. That means that that is the highest attribute in the game currently at that attribute. So there isn't a higher strong safety when it comes to acceleration, block shedding, or zone coverage. So needless to say, this is a damn good strong safety item. The only thing that I think would make it much better is if it had a little bit higher speed. And I know if you were to suddenly make Kenny Vaccaro like 93 speed or something like that, he would be possibly the best safety in this game. I mean, you could really make a case right now, given the fact that he has such great zone coverage and decent speed and fast acceleration, and all the other attributes are really, really good, and the 94 hit power, obviously, that you could already make a case that he is one of the best strong safeties, but man, if he had just a little bit better speed, might be the best. But overall, guys, this is an awesome item, one of the best rising stars that they have put out so far. I, I want to say it's the best. I, I can't think of any of them off the top of my head that are better. So it's great to see that they continue to put out great items here for us in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And I really hope that you guys give this item a try if it's if it's at all affordable for you. Because I think that it's going to do, do a great job pretty much no matter what you want it to do. It's great in almost every single attribute other than tackling. And as we all know, tackling can kind of be a little bit overrated in Madden. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you hit that like button below. And also be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel so that you know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.